what's up guys welcome back to my corner my nice clean home it smells good too right now i got the goods out it is like not mid-october but still early october creeping into the middle of october and i have not decorated for fall nor halloween oh i've put my fall wreath up which you can kind of see like the shadow of it on my door that's it so on the outside i look like i got it together but on the inside i don't which is pretty much me <laughs> so i also want to show you guys something i've been working on before i get to decorating is um hold on lovely angles first of all my room is a mess well it's not like that much of a mess but um i don't have my tv on my dresser right now because my dresser is occupied with the other thing i'm doing and so it's kind of like sitting here but I am being basic and I'm doing a picture wall collage and disclaimer before I show it to you the last picture on the far right corner is crooked and it's stuck to the wall and I can't fix it without ruining it so oh, we're just gonna have to try to pretend we don't see it which if you have OCD probably gonna bother you but anyway trigger warning <laughs> okay I wanted to do the picture collage above my bed and now that I'm thinking about it, I really wish I would have started it over my bed. I could always do another one, but I did it over my dresser because my plan is to have it over my dresser and then put this neon light I bought over it, which I don't see, but it's okay. This pink neon light is going to go over the picture collage right above my TV once it's done. That's kind of the vision I had in my head, but now I'm wishing I would have put it above my bed, but it is what it is. I didn't even realize that the picture collage kit that I got, the well, wall collage kit, is this one. I didn't realize that there's actually some of the colors from my tapestry in it. I thought I was going to have to get a new tapestry. But there's literally some of the colors of my tapestry in this. So my voice, I didn't just get up, but I still have my morning voice for some reason. But this is it so far. The lighting in here is garbage like absolute garbage but um i do my best to show it to you so that's what i have so far like this like picture here is like blue and pink and this is like blue and pink there's blue there's pink and all the colors of my tapestry but i'm here to meet my mom for lunch before i go to work look how clean my bathroom is i like my mom came over and deep cleaned my apartment for me because i suck at it so i guess we're not decorating right now so that's what I was going to do. I'm going to meet my mom for lunch in Xenia, which is where I used to live. So I need to get dressed, um, but not with the window wide open. We were going to, where I live now, like there's some nice restaurants around here, but I'm like literally tired of eating at them. So we're going to meet somewhere where I used to live in my hometown, but I'm going to put on my work clothes and just go ahead and be ready for work in case we get back later because it's almost 12 30 takes me about 10 15 minutes to get there and then i i usually leave for work around two so i just want to be safe so plus i'm killing half of my time vlogging trying to find my pants <laughs> for work here they are okay usually i don't vlog when i have my clothes on for work i was gonna say a scrub but that's why it's not really <laughs> but since I don't have my actual work shirt on today because I'm, I'm hoping I'll have time to stop at home. My voice cracks so bad. Before I go in, I make sure I have everything just in case I don't. Which, everything else is in my car. I just needed to grab my... Uh, AirPods. I might have the light on in there, but that's okay. I just pulled up at work. And that's why I'm trying to, I have this angle because I don't want to show the building. But I went to lunch with my mom and my dad ended up coming. And then I stopped by my grandma because my, I guess my aunt ordered me a hood. Long story, I don't need to know. But I stopped there and she gave me this mask to wear with my pink scrubs. And she also gave me, you guys can see it back there. I'll show you guys when I get home later, some other breast cancer scrubs because my grandma used to work in a facility like this a long time ago. So I'm going to wear that cute little mask. I normally wear this mask it's dirty and then i got my water bottle which is also pink <laughs> but i'm about to go into work i gotta get all of my supplies my keys i think i threw it away 
Son of a... I just bought some air freshener spray to take into work with me so that way when the rodents blow it up I can spray and it don't stink. Like a mini one. The other day I cleaned up my car and I threw a bunch of crap away and I think I threw it away. And I had bought me some new pens. That's great. Okay, well, essentials, we need Vaseline. Put that in my pocket, my pen. I really need a new, a new one because I like it to clip onto my shirt and the clip's broken. My keys, which I wear around my arm. These laundry tickets. All right, I gotta go in. Hola, mis amigos. I don't ever know what light to turn on in this building because I don't have any like main lighting out here. Whew, I sit down. I just got home from work. And normally I cannot wait to get home and go straight to the bed, skip a shower and everything because that's how hard the nights are. But I just realized the plate was missing off my outlet over there. But I'm home and for some reason I'm like full of energy. I've had like a positive day today, which I'm going to enjoy it as long as I can because I don't always have a positive day and I'm not always in a positive mood. So I ordered some cookies when I was at work because I was craving something. I wasn't hungry hungry. I just wanted like some snack on so I ordered cookies. But I remember earlier I was going to decorate and I never got around to it. So right now I'm going to get this situated to where I can decorate it. And... I have a lot of decorations and not a lot of places to put them, so I have to figure out what I want up and what I don't. And I'm afraid that I'm not going to have anywhere to put these big old pumpkins, so I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to let these two sit this year out. I think they're going to have an off season. <laughs> They've played hard. This whole thing full of stuff, so I'm going to do that. So for those of you who don't know, I edit on my phone and between th these next two clips, it cuts off in a weird place. Um, it went from me showing you guys my stuff I had to decorate with to me in my pajamas and going off about something. I had a phone call, like the phone call like turned the camera off, like it interjected. So it made it look like it just like switched to some random scene of me going off about something. So I just wanted to clarify that here, like that's why it cut to me being frustrated. <sighs> I'm frustrated. I'm the type of person that just never learns my lesson. Like, I let people do me wrong and keep allowing them to do it for whatever reason because I love them or want them in my life or for whatever reason, I just allow people to treat me however I guess. But I was explaining to you guys earlier how I've been having a really good day. And if you haven't been following my journey with my mental health, then you might not know that I have not been good at all. And today was the first day in a very long time that I actually felt okay the whole entire day. My, my brain was not wrapped up in a bunch of negative thoughts. My thoughts didn't eat at my brain. I just lived today and I had a good day. And me and my dad, it's so hard it's almost impossible to describe our relationship. I love my dad. He has done so much for me in my life. I mean, as a father should, but he's also torn me down in a lot of ways. And he's a very hard person to talk to because he acts like he knows everything. And basically he doesn't understand mental illness. And I was on the phone with him. I needed to tell him one thing, but we end up getting on the topic. Uh, I don't know. Some, I hate when people try to tell you that depression is your fault or anxiety is your fault. Depression and anxiety and anything on that realm is a literal mental illness. Telling somebody who has depression that it's their fault is like telling a patient, uh, telling a cancer patient that it's their fault they have cancer. You can't help what happens to your body. You can't help what happens to your mind. You can do a lot of things to like distract yourself from those thoughts or from those feelings feelings but you're still subconsciously having those feelings my anxiety and depression has been very high this year and it has nothing to do with covid i'm not even going to give covid the the attention that it, everybody wants it to have i i struggle with a lot of different things 
everybody in this world and they're lying to you if they say they don't struggles with something everybody has demons everybody has insecurities everybody has different ways of living their life and that is okay because everybody's different and even if you're handling your life in an unhealthy way that is your business and if your family wants to help you that's great that your family wants to help you but until you want help it's not gonna work but everybody in this world deals with pain deals with trauma deals with sadness deals with things that aren't always happy and gumdrops and rainbow rainbows and we might look up to celebrities because we think that they're the happiest people in the world celebrities i feel like are the most unhappy people in the world because they have so much crap they have to deal with on a daily basis mentally and physically and i feel like it's so unrealistic to look up to certain celebrities because there's a lot of celebrities who try to pretend like they're okay and put on this fake facade for their supporters because they think that's the ideal life to live and I love celebrities who use their platform to show that they are human beings and that they're not like robots and they go through things too. Like Demi Lovato, for instance, she has shared, I don't want to say every detail of her life because I don't know that, but she has shared a lot of the things in her life she's gone through. And she, I feel like uses her platform for the reasons why people, I feel like people should want to be famous to use their platform to help other people. People who share their stories and are vulnerable to the public, who are celebrities, are the celebrities I look up to because it is very brave and very courageous to share those things with a judgmental society and people who are going to judge you for your journey and how you handled it. But you're doing it for the people that you know need it. It's a very selfless thing to do as a celebrity and I look up to people like that. Anyway, that's not even the point. I'm just ranting at this point because my dad kind of ruined my good day. I was gonna come home, listen to music, finish this wall, <sighs> decorate. I'm still gonna do all that because I'm. I really wanted to do that. <sighs> I'm never gonna learn my lesson. There's just certain things that you don't talk about with certain people because you know it's gonna trigger you, and that's just something. If I I should have known when the conversation was veering that way, I should have ended it. But but anyway, if you're dealing with mental illness, you're dealing with depression and anxiety, and you're at a point in your life where it's the worst. Do not let anybody rush you into recovery and do not let anybody push you to do something you're not ready to do. You take the steps you need to get to where you want to be in life and you do it how you want to do it as long as it's healthy and do it for you. Don't do it for other people. That's all I got to say. I'm going to do what I wanted to do tonight because there's a reason why I live alone. There's a reason why I moved out of my parents' house as soon as I was able to because it had nothing to do with my mom. Okay, kind of, <laughs> but I love my mom to death. Some people just will never get it and that's okay. You just don't share those things with those people. <laughs> okay so i got tired of doing this <laughs> i did like three more it's so annoying like to make it i'm just not in the mood to like sit there and make sure it's perfectly lined up and i don't want to screw it up so i'm gonna go out here and do this that i said i was gonna do so what you guys just seen in there was me dancing to my favorite song right now and i'm not a big justin bieber fan but <sighs> 
that song when it came out it just it was just my song you know i should dust this but we're not going to it's gonna be lazy and this i'm going to replace i'm gonna uh, we have this whole bin full of stuff so we're gonna do gather <laughs> Where is it gonna go? I'm gonna figure this out. So these little pumpkins. There. Okay, if I straighten everything up down here, I rarely ever sit in my living room anymore because of the hours that I work, I'm never home. So we can put a ghost and a cat. I don't think any of these like tea lights in here actually work. Yeah, that doesn't work. I think I'll put this one on the back of my toilet. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the Halloween pumpkins out now, and then after Halloween's over, we still have November, which is still a fall month, so I'll put the fall pumpkins back up after Halloween. Just because. Okay, I don't know what to do with this. He's gonna sit this year out too, just like the big pumpkins. But Mr. Scarecrow is gonna go right there on the edge. Cute. And then we have this guy. Put this on my stove top. I don't even realize I didn't even have one on here already. Okay. That's so cute. Okay. And then the rest of the decorations. This I will hang up tomorrow. So I'll just put it on my doorknob for now. But so far I have this. You guys can see that. And then I'll find a place for everything else another day, but that's it for now. Okay. All right, I'm decorated. Oh, I forgot I could put pumpkins up on the shelves. I'm good. <laughs> I have this fall candle in my bathroom. So that's cute. That's my fall decoration for the bathroom. And. I don't want to get copyrighted. So when I'm done with this picture wall, this LED light will go above it, or I mean on it somewhere. I just don't have the energy to do it right now. Oh, I still have a light on out here. <clears throat> but now my house is decorated for fall. Now that it's halfway over, basically. Okay. I'm sorry for ranting earlier about my personal problems, <laughs> but I'm going to put my TV back up on my chair and then I'm going to end this vlog. I have to have my TV on this till I clean my dresser. Okay. <sighs> I was listening to music on my TV. I normally listen to it on my phone, but I needed that to film. So... That's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you made it to the end, comment an orange emoji. I mean, yeah, any orange emoji. Um, I'm not trying to be basic and be like other YouTubers who, who do that. But I think it's cool because you get to see who stuck with you till the end of your video. Because I tend to feel like my videos aren't very interesting. So if you watch till the end, comment an orange emoji. And I don't know why I just randomly got out of breath. Oh, I gotta take my medicine. I need some water. I don't want to go back out to the kitchen. Anyway, I can The the pill is so tiny. I could probably.
I was trying to swallow my pill with that water. Because it's so tiny, but I couldn't get it down. I'm not even tired. I'm gonna lay down and edit this video. So bye. Peace out, homies.